unburnable, the coal is flooding our lives by Kaveh Akbar. The prophets are alive but unrecognizable to us as calligraphy is to a mouse. For a time they drag long oar strokes across the sky. Now they sit in graveyards drinking coffee, forking soapy cottage cheese into their mouths. My hungry is different than their hungry. I envy their discipline but not enough to do anything about it. I blame my culture. I blame everyone but myself. Intent arise like a call to prayer and is as easy to dismiss. Rumi said the two most important things in life were beauty and bewilderment. This is likely a mistranslation. After 30 years in America, my father now dreams in English. Says he misses the dead relatives he used to be able to visit in sleep. How many times are you allowed to lose the same beloveds before you stop believing they're gone? Some migrant birds build their nests over rivers to push them into the water when they leave. This seems almost warm, a good harm. The addictions that were killing me fastest were the ones I loved best. Turning the chisel toward myself, I found my body was still the size of my body, still unarmored as wet bread. One way to live a life is to spend each morning asking forgiveness for the last. It seems to me the significance of remorse would deflate with each performance. Better to sink a little into the earth and quietly watch life unfold. Violent as a bullring, the carpenter's house will always be the last to be built. Sometimes a mind is ready to leave the world before its body. Sometimes paradise happens too early and leaves a shuddering in its wake. I am glad I still exist, glad for cats and moss and Turkish indigo, and yet to be light upon the earth, to be steel bent around an endless black, to once again be God's own tuning fork, and yet, and yet.